We all do it. In fact, I did it three times this morning. Everybody hits the snooze button. It's the gateway to that 10 minutes of extra sleep that you're certain you need in order to truly be ready to attack the day. It wasn't always called snoozing. Sleep scientists in the 1970s coined the term drockling to describe the action of drifting in and out of sleep in the morning. But hitting the drockling button didn't have a great ring to it, so the process became more commonly referred to as snoozing. Well, when you snooze, you actually lose. <laughs> It turns out those extra Z's to which we treat ourselves are actually bad for you. According to Stanford University sleep specialist Rafael Palayo, it confuses your body and brain. When your alarm goes off, that signals the end of your sleep cycle. When you hit the snooze button and fall back asleep, the cycle starts all over again. But when the alarm goes off again, your body thinks, wait, I'm not done with my new sleep cycle yet. And this leads to what the National Sleep Foundation defines as sleep inertia. It's the feeling of grogginess and disorientation that can come from awakening from a deep sleep. It slows down your ability to make decisions and hurts your overall performance. That feeling of grogginess can last around 90 minutes. Not a great way to start the day. But there are some things you can do to kick the habit of hitting the snooze button. First of all, obey your alarm. Get up when it goes off and do it for a few days in a row. According to Palayo, this will get your mind and body into a healthy rhythm. Another trick is to move your alarm further away from your bed than you're used to, so you have to get up to shut it off. Finally, just get more sleep. Go to bed earlier and you'll feel the difference. Together, we can break this vicious cycle of snoozing.